crafting. Welcome to crafting. Today we're going to do a craft with my mom. Mommy, everybody. Everybody, mom. Hi, everybody. So the craft we're going to do today is making paper beads. Yes. And we learned this craft from Lindsay over at the Frugal Crafter. Yeah. Today we're making paper beads. Here's what you need. A paintbrush, a chopstick, and a paper cutter, ribbon, and some scissors, glue, and some paper, and some Mod Podge. Now this is special paper that Ashley painted before. We went over to a friend's house and they used distressed ink and she sprayed it on the paper and it made this beautiful design. So this is the paper we're going to be using today to make our beads. After we make our beads, we're going to make a bracelet for me. So let's get started to it. The first step we're going to do is cut those. Paper cutter, please. Okay, here, Mom. Thank you. Which one do we want to do first, Ashley? Let's do this one. Okay. So we're going to cut the edges off our paper first, and then we'll cut it into long triangle strips. Now I'm doing this stuff because it's not a good idea for Ashley to use a paper cutter. And this is one of our favorite crafts that we've done together. Yeah. You got it. Um, kids can't do it, just out Because the kids might cut their fingers off. That is true, and we don't want to cut fingers off. It's really important for you to have a tip on your paper. Here's the scissors, Mom. Yeah, sometimes if the if you don't get it cut properly with the cutting board, you can just take some scissors and snip that point yourself. Yeah. Here, Mom. Can you cut oh, I missed, my into the edge? I missed that one too. Yeah. Good. We cut them all into strips now uh, with the pointed triangle, and now we're going to show you how to roll them up and make them into beads. Right, Ashley? Yeah. All right, so we take our chopstick. You could really use anything. Uh, we've used a paintbrush before, like the end of a paintbrush. You could use whatever you want. Uh, just keep in mind that this is going to be the how wide the hole is. So what we'll do is take this, add some Mod Podge, and we're going to roll the strip up around the, around the chopstick, and then we'll put it out here to dry. So Ashley is the good Mod Podge painter. Yeah. So that's her job. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, have Ashley put some Mod Podge right along this area of the paper right here. We're gonna wrap it nice and tightly around the chopstick like this. And when we get to the end, Ashley's going to put some more Mod Podge on it just to seal it up. One thing we've noticed is that uh, if you cut off the edges like this, then they don't stick out so much once you start rolling the um, once you start rolling it up, and it'll look prettier. If the tip doesn't want to stay down, sometimes you have to help it out a little bit and push it down just like this. We need to do a bunch more. Come on. And then when they dry, we're going to give them a second coat of Mod Podge. So we'll keep working at this and we'll come back when we're done. All right, we're back. So we uh, cut our paper, we wrapped it, we put Mod Podge on it, and now these beads have all had two layers of Mod Podge on them, and they look beautiful, don't they, Ashley? Yeah. 
They look great. So now we're ready to make our bracelet or whatever it is you want to make. Now here's a bracelet that we made a little bit ago and we put on a bead and then we used a pony bead and here, I'll put it here so this camera can see it. A bead and then a pony bead and a bead and a pony bead. And we tried that and that looked really nice. I think today we're just gonna put all the beads on. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Um, here's the ribbon, Mom. You can use string or ribbon. Whatever you want. Mm-hmm. You could even use fishing line if you want. Yeah. All right, so let's measure your wrist, Ashley. So we want to leave enough room so we can tie a knot, all right? So the first thing we need to do is tie a knot at one end. I think we'll do two knots. Yeah. Let's do two knots. You can do two or three knots. Because we don't want the bead to slide through. Yeah. So while Ashley's putting her beads on, let me give you a couple of tips. If you don't want to spend forever making your beads to put on a bracelet, you could, you could cut your paper strips wider so that it takes less beads to go around the bracelet. Also, Mod Podge is really messy, so just be aware of that whenever you're doing this craft. And once you're finished, you want to wash your paintbrush right away. Otherwise, it's going to ruin your paintbrush and you won't be able to use it again. And one other thing, we put two layers of Mod Podge on because it helps protect your beads from anything that might happen to them. Uh, if they get rained on or if they happen to get wet when your child is washing their hands, then the double layer of Mod Podge really helps with that. I think that's it. So now we tie this end and then we'll tie it all together. So this is what the bracelet looked like. Isn't it great? Here Ashley, let's put it on. Okay. Whoa, that looks cool. I love this bracelet. It's beautiful. Thanks mom for making this craft with me. Oh, you're welcome sweetie. It's fun when we make crafts together. If you're new to the Quad Squad channel, we'd invite you to subscribe. We have new videos every week, and it's free. If you make one of these, send us a picture on Twitter or Instagram. You can tag us at Quad Squad underscore kids. Yeah, Mom. Thanks for watching my video. Bye. Bye. Mom, are you done washing your hands? Uh, I'm just trying to get all this Mod Podge off. Okay, but do it fast, because I'm talking to the camera, so she just needs to wash her hands. And then we'll do more videos.